Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Joe Rhodes and today I'm bringing you another quick and easy guitar lesson. Today's lesson is Lose You to Love You by Selena Gomez. This is the first time I'm somewhat ahead of the curve on a video like this because it only came out two or three days ago as of me shooting it, but I'm here today to teach it to you on guitar. A couple of things to note before we get started. We are going to be using a bar chord for this song, just one. I know some people have a little bit of trouble with that, especially in the beginning of guitar playing, uh, but I know that you can do it. And we're also going to be using a capo for this song. We're going to be capoed on the second fret. So every chord I tell you and every fret I tell you is going to be relative to us having our guitar capoed on the second fret. If you don't have a capo, that's fine. You can still learn this song. You'll just be playing it a little lower than I am. Two half steps or one whole step lower than I'm playing it. You can still learn it that way and then go out and buy a capo later on if you want to play it in the original key of the song. But that's it for now, guys. Now, let's get right into it with the verse. So starting us off uh, with the verses is going to be a D major. So D major is going to consist of us playing an open D string, our first finger on the second fret of the G string, our third finger on the third fret of the B string, and then our second finger on the second fret of the high E string, just like that. And when we add all that together, it should sound like this. Then we're gonna move to an E minor, probably one of the easiest chords that uh, we can play on a guitar. We're gonna have a low E open, our first finger on the second fret of the A string, our second finger on the second fret of the D string, and then our G, B, and E are all gonna be open. And all together it should sound like this. Now keep in mind, which fingers you use to play E minor uh, could vary. You could use your second and third. That's the way I typically do it, especially coming from like an A minor or something like that. It makes the transition easier, but just find what works for you and do whatever is the easiest. Now we're moving on to that bar chord that I mentioned. Now before we get started with the bar chord, I'm going to give you just a couple of quick tips that you can use uh, to maybe make your bar chord sound a little bit clearer. So the first and most obvious one is to keep your finger flat. So we're going to have one finger going across all these strings on the same fret and we're going to want to keep that finger as flat as possible. Our second and even more obvious tip is going to be to apply even and straight down pressure with our finger. When I say straight down, I mean you're pushing your pushing the strings straight down onto the fretboard and not pulling or bending them at all if you can help it. And now our third tip that I'm going to give you is probably the most important and that's going to be to take your thumb on the back of the neck and put it kind of in the middle of the neck right behind that finger that's making the bar and push away from you on the guitar neck. And at the same time you're doing that, you're pushing towards you with your finger. When you do that, you're kind of pinching the guitar neck and it's gonna help you to get more pressure on those strings and make your bar chord sound more clear. So, we're taking that first finger, barring all the strings on the second fret, then taking our third finger on the fourth fret of the D string, putting our fourth finger on the fourth fret of the uh, G string, our second finger on the second, I mean, sorry, third fret of the B string, and then that high E is being hit with our first finger on the second fret. All together, that should sound like this. Now moving right along, after that, we're gonna be playing an A major chord. A major is going to have an open A string, first fret, uh, I'm sorry, first finger, second fret D string, second finger, second fret G string, our third finger on the third fret of the B string, and then we're gonna have an open E string as well. And all together that should sound like this. So, before we move on to the chorus and the pre-chorus, let's talk real quick about the picking for this song, or the strumming, depending on what you do. Uh, I'm playing it as close to the original as possible. That's the way I'm gonna teach it to you, as close to the original song as I can. After you've learned it that way, then I encourage you to go out and try to find your own way to play the song. Maybe you use a guitar pick, maybe you finger pick it like I'm doing. Uh, maybe you come up with some sort of strumming pattern, whatever you wanna do, I encourage you to experiment with that. But uh, for now, I'm just going to teach it to you the way the original song is played. So we're going to pluck the chord like this to make it sound more like the piano or the strings that we hear in the song because all the notes hit at the exact same time on that kind of an instrument. So D major for four measure or for four beats, one whole measure. Then E minor for four, 
One, two, three, four. And now B minor for six. So we're gonna take B minor and we'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, and then change to A minor. And so A minor is gonna start on our three and only last for two beats. One, I mean three, four, and then we'll move back to D and start over. So I'm gonna count the whole thing out for you, ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Just like that. Now, moving along, starting here at our pre-chorus and all the way up until I think the third verse, we're going to be doing two strums or two plucks per chord. So it's going to sound like this now. And so on. So we're going to start with a G major chord, which should show up right here as always. G major is going to start with our second finger on the third fret of our low E string, our first finger on the second fret of the A string, and now we're going to have the D, G, and B all open. And then we'll be playing our third fret on our high E. And all together it should sound like this. Then we'll move on to the D major, which you already know. Then A major, which we also just learned. And now we're moving to a, a new chord, which is optional. So the new chord that we'll be playing is D over F sharp. So D over F sharp. Now, there are a few different ways to play this. You can play it even as a bar chord, like this. But the way I'm going to show it to you, I think is the quickest and easiest way to learn this chord, which is to make a D major chord but instead of using your first, second, and third finger, you're instead going to use your second, third, and fourth finger to make D major. Just the same as you would, but with new fingers. And then our first finger is going to be free now to come all the way up to the low E and hit that second fret of our low E string. And that's gonna give us the F sharp bass note that we're looking for. And that's it. You've now learned the whole song. There are a couple of other things you need to pay attention to. For example, at the end of both the pre-chorus and the chorus, it does not play the last D over F sharp like it has been the whole time. And I'll show you what I mean real quick before we go. So we'll have G, D, A, and then D over F sharp, back to G of course, D, now A, and we're gonna hold A. We're gonna hold it until the chorus or the verse, depending on where you're at, comes in. So go and listen to the original song and try to pick up on those things for yourself and then take what you've learned here and apply it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of video, consider subscribing to the channel so you can see more. I also post covers, I post gear uh, reviews and stuff like that, and there will be much more of this content coming. Leave a comment below if you made it this far uh, to tell me how you're doing with the song and learning it, and let me know what other songs you might like to see done. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching.